Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I hope you are doing good. So today I am going to show you git push command. So the simple use of git push command is to basically push your local changes or commits to a remote repository. That's the simple use of it. So that's the documentation you can go through it so i have already created a video on git add git commit so you can go through them i will provide the link in the description as well so now let me show you my github account to you so right now you can see i am not having any repo on my github account i have created new for this video so let me just give you a quick recap so i have created this four files and uh, i have just uh, added uh, this to my index and i have committed my local changes till now so for that i have used git add dot and uh, for commit i have used git commit with message so now let me show you git status as well so it shows on branch master and there is nothing to commit so let me show you git log as i have already committed my local changes so you can check your local commits using git log so here you can see i have committed two times so let's say if you are pushing for the first time so just make sure to check your remote origin that it's a set or not and also check your your branch and your remote branch is same and then uh, configuration that from which account you are pushing so let me show you what error you will be getting if these are not set so let me write directly git push so here you can see no configuration for push destination so you need to add your remote origin so now i'm going to create a new repo on my github account so let's go and uh, create click on new so here you have to write your repo name so i'm just going to write let's say git tutorial and create the repo so after creating you can see quick setup so it says git init that we have already done so after that git add git commit so this command i have already done so after that there is git branch so we are having master branch here so you can see after that git remote add origin so that's what we need to do here so now let me just clear the terminal and now copy the command from github that is git remote add origin and now paste it in your terminal and run the command so now let's check origin is added or not so for that write git remote show origin so here you can see our origin is added and let me show you one more thing that github branch is main and if i write git branch my branch is master and now third thing from which account you are going to push so i'm going to configure it so git config user dot name you can also configure it globally i'm just going to do this for this repo so write git config username and knowledge thrusters so now run the command and after that second thing i need to do is also config user email so write user dot email and write knowledge thrusters at the red gmail.com so config with your username and email so now let's check write cat dot git slash config that it's uh, successfully configured or not so run the command and you can see name and email both are there so now let me push so write git push so now you can see it says that you have to set it upstream so for that let's um, write another i'll not say another command but with option i'm going to push now so now write git push minus u origin master so minus u is for option to set upstream so now run this command so now i have to give permission to exco to open the external website and here i have to authorize it so now it's done so now you can see our code is pushed to remote so now let me show you one so here you can see now one repository and inside that i am having all my files so that's how you can push your code to a remote repo so that's all in this video i hope you like this video if you have any doubt related to this topic then you can comment down below so thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe to my channel